Hi everyone, uh, this is Trevor here. So today we will be solving this problem ORAC and medians from the code process round 641. So the problem is a standard greedy one. So let's understand the problem. So the problem states that you'll be given an array and you can choose any range L or R. And in that range, what you need to do is whatever is the median of that range of elements, you got to replace every element in that range by that number. So what is the median? So median is nothing but let's say you're given three numbers like one, three, two. So since the number of elements is odd, you got to sort it one, two, three. So whichever is the middle element, that will be your median. And then if the number of elements, let's say is even like in this question, it is said that in that case, you got to take n plus one by two and the floor of it. So in that case, one will be your median. Generally, it's one plus two by two, but they've said you have to take the floor element. So it will be one. So the problem states, uh, you can choose any range L or R and any number of times. And in doing so, what do you need to do is at the end, the array should have all the elements as three. Like over here, if I choose this, this becomes three, three. Then if I choose this, this becomes three, three, three. Then if I choose this one, everyone becomes three, three. Then if I choose this entire thing, this becomes three, three, three. Then if I choose this entire thing, this becomes three, three, three. So I can see that everyone becomes three. So if it is possible to make everyone as three, you got to print a yes. And if it is not possible, you simply got to print a no. So in the test case where the array is one, five, two, six, one, and you got to make K as three. So the answer will be no, because uh, the element doesn't exist in the array. And if it doesn't exist, no matter whatever range you choose, you will never be able to make any of the index to be K. So that is why it will be no. So such problems can be solved using greedy approach and there is no standard algorithm to it. So what you do is you keep on trying solving test cases and see what are the possible answers that you are getting when it is possible, when it is not possible. And what you will see is after a time being, you'll come up to a solution and after that you can prove your solution. So let me discuss you the solution that I came up to and then we can prove it backwards. So let's take this first test case. So the approach that I found was I checked if there is any element that is greater than or equal to K and then I checked if it's adjacent element was greater than or equal to K or not. If it is, I can say that these two numbers can be made something greater than K. So this becomes four and four. So let's say over here, there was four and three. If I've chosen this range, it would have become three and three. So that is the reason I just checked if it is greater than equal to K or not. So basically a sub array of size two has been checked. So this becomes four and four. So if I take this range, I can make everyone as four and four. If I take this range, I can again make everyone as four and four. That means this range because this is four and four and four. And after that, if you add this to this becomes four and four and four. After this, if I again take this one, this again becomes four and four and four. Why? Because if you write it in a sorting order, four will be its median. So I got five fours. And now what I did was I took the entire array. So I know when I sort it, I'll get something as one, one, two, two, three in between, and then five fours on the right. So eventually I got the median as three. So if I choose this entire range, so in the sorting, I got the median. So everything gets replaced by three. So it's possible to make it as three. So if a sub array of size two occurs such that both the elements are greater than or equal to K, I can make it. I will prove that afterwards. What if, if a sub array of size two doesn't occur where the elements are greater than or equal to K. So here is a test case where this comes in. So over here, I can see if I take this four two five, so this will be nothing but two four five and the median will be four. So I can rewrite them as three one one four four four. So I got all the elements as four, four, four. Now what I can do is I can take the entire thing. So on sorting, it will be one, one, three, four, 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 four. Now since the number of elements are even, I know the floor element will be its median. So that is three. So everyone can be converted into. So what I figured out is if 
there is any sub array of size 3 such that there are two elements which are greater than or equal to k. So it works. Now let's come to this proof. Why does this work? So let's assume I want to make the entire array as 1. I can easily make. Because if I choose this, this becomes 1, 1. Then if I choose this, this becomes 1, 1, 1. Then if I choose the entire thing, this becomes 1, 1, 1. Similarly, if I keep on choosing, everything becomes 1. If I want to make everything as 4, I can also make. Because a subarray of size 3 occurs. So I can take this as 4 and 4. Then I can take this as 4, 4, 4. Then I can make this as 4, 4, 4 also. And then I can similarly extend this to the left. I can take this portion, so this becomes 4. Then I can take this portion, this becomes 4. Then I can take this portion, this becomes 4. Then I can take this portion, this becomes 4. Then I can take this portion, this becomes 4. So what I proved is, if there is a smaller element than k, I can make all the numbers that smaller element. Because if there is one small element, I'll simply choose 2 subarray size and then I can keep on expanding it. So if there is an element which is smaller than or equal to k, the first element that is, I can make every one of them as that. Or if there is an element which is greater than or equal to k, such that there is a subarray of size 2 or 3, I can make every one as them or a limited quantity. So let's assume there is a subarray of size 3 where there is a minimum of two elements which is greater than or equal to k. And let's try to prove our intuition. So if I take this test case, what I know is if I can place 3 at the middle and I can place smaller elements on the left and larger elements on the right. So 3 will always be my medium. Given that, that the array size is 11, I have to place 5 smaller or less than equal to 3 elements on the left and 5 greater or equal to elements on the right, given that k is 3. So I know one thing that I have 3 ones, but then I have so many 2s. So 3 cannot be medium. So for 3 to be medium, what I need to do is, I can only take 2 3s. Apart from that, I have to convert this 3 2s into 4s, such that they go into the right side. Because currently the right side has only 4. So can I make this 3 2s as 4? The question boils down to this. And for this, we know that they, if there exists a subarray of size 2 or 3, so for that, we know that if there exists a subarray of size 3, where there's a minimum of two elements, which is greater than or equal to k, I can easily make smaller elements greater. So what I can do is I can make this 4, 4, 4, then this is 4, then this is 4. So now I have converted this 3, 2s into 4. So they come on the right side. So we have a five smaller numbers on the left and five greater numbers on the right. So we have proved one part of the intuition is that if there are smaller numbers, we can convert them to greater numbers and then we can place 3 in between and can make it as the median. And what if we had more greater numbers? Can we convert them into smaller? Let's take this test case. So we can see over here, we want to place 3 on the between and we want smaller numbers on the left and greater numbers on the right. So we want 5 smaller on the left and 5 greater than or equal to on the right. So over here we have 3 3s. So we know one thing, if we take this, we can make it as 1. And if we take this, we can make it as 1. So we have 5 ones. Because we know if there is one smaller element, I can convert the greater to the smaller. That is proved already. So we got 5 4 numbers on the right too. If we contradict our statement, if there doesn't exist any subarray of size 3, such that there is a minimum of 2 elements which is greater than or equal to k, so that means the numbers are smaller and I can create as many smaller numbers. And if there exist something as that, so I can create as many larger numbers as possible. So this is where the proof comes in. So now you might think that, Strava, what if we have something like this? Doesn't matter. What you will do is, instead of creating smaller numbers, you can make everyone as 3. Make this as 3, 3, 3. Then you can make it as 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Expand it on the left, 3, 3, 3, 3. What if you have any test case such as this? That means you have any numbers on to the right. So what you can do easily is, since you know there is a subarray of size 3, that means you can create as many greater numbers as possible. And if you want to minimize these smaller numbers, what you do is, just transplant this 2 and 4. That means make this 2 and 2. 2, 2, 2, 2. So you can decrease the greater numbers also. So this is where we prove that if there exists any subarray of size 3, which has a minimum of 2 elements greater than or equal to k, 
we can create as many large numbers as possible and also if there exists a k and this number is greater i can eventually make everyone as k if this is k and this number is not greater what i can do is i can simply turn down the greater numbers so this is where this is proved that if we can simply check if there is a sub array of size 3 which has a minimum of two elements which is greater than or equal to k our task is done we can easily say it's a yes and what are the other conditions the other conditions are very obvious k has to exist in the array because it has to be the median if k doesn't exist it will not be the median so we simply print no if k doesn't exist and if k and if n is equal to equal to 1 so what we know is uh, there cannot be a sub array of size 3 or 2 so for that the single element has to be k so for that we can print a separate case and apart from that we can just simply check for sub arrays of size 2 and 3 to have a minimum of two elements which are greater than or equal to k and if that is the case we can easily form this median so if you check out uh, the value of n is uh, 10 to the power 5 and the value of k is 10 to the power 9 so what will be the complexity there will be nothing but o of n because you just need to check sub arrays of sizes 2 and you can use flag variables or something like that any time complexity is 2 seconds so o of n satisfies so let's have a quick work through over the code so the code uh, courtesy goes to pavan because i didn't participate in the contest because it was in my office hours so i did take the code from him so he took test cases and then nsk as usual avoid runtime errors what he did was he just did a of n plus 3 and that is he took a array of size plus 3 and then initialize every one of them with minus 1 he took the array input after that he had this test case where he gave that if n is 1 he checked if a of i is equal to equal to k so what does that mean is if there is a single element that has to be k so he printed yes after this after that he linearly traversed in the array he kept a flag as flag 2 that means that will point if k exists in the array and he simply checked if the current element is greater than k and if i plus 1 or i plus 2 is greater than equal to k so which that means if a of i is greater than k that is a count of 1 and if any of them is greater than k that means the count becomes 2 which is the minimum possible that we required so you can turn the flag as 1 and after that he checked if flag is 1 and flag 2 is 1 so flag 2 means k occurs flag means so there is a sub array of size 2 or 3 which has a minimum of two elements which are greater than or equal to k he printed yes so over here he took n plus 3 so for that reason he did he didn't do any check of i plus 1 less than or equal to n because he had that memory because he had this memory created so runtime error will not be there so that was the sole reason why he created that so this was all about this code forces rd problem i hope you have understood the approach and the concept behind it just in case you have Press on the like button and yes, if you're new to my channel, there's a red button going down, right? Subscribe because that notifies you whenever I post a new content.